It's been said that ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. As we come out of this long pandemic, if it feels like the IBEW is stronger at this year's construction and maintenance conference, that's because it is. For the first time in a long time, the handshakes, the camaraderie, and the messaging combine to set a familiar tone of resolve and progress with a bit of relief mixed in. I was beginning to wonder if we'd ever see this day again, having the uh, honor and the opportunity to stand here and share a message with you about our world, our work, and our great union. Sisters and brothers, from the bottom of my heart, I mean it when I say it's great to see you all. And I can't tell you how proud I am of our membership across all of our branches and how we responded during this pandemic. I want to acknowledge and thank all of you for what you do each and every day. The IBEW can, should, and will continue to grow in the right direction by taking a more inclusive route in creating a better work environment for women and minorities in our trade. Now more than ever, this is our moment to build a bigger and better IBEW. This is about ensuring the opportunity that we enjoy as IBEW members is open to everyone. IBW Strong represents a new emphasis on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and a sense of belonging. We need to do more, way more, to have our local unions be a better reflection of the communities they serve. This means more active outreach to minorities and to women. Having a president in the White House that isn't afraid to stand behind unions in this country is another welcome theme which was present this year. And there is nothing like a massive $2.3 trillion infrastructure package to allow our members the incentive to grow and thrive for years to come. After years of taking it on the chin, the workers from all sectors of the economy are starting to take action. We see it in record numbers of workers demanding better treatment with more than 100,000 workers who went on strike last fall to demand human working hours and livable benefits. But we all know that without the power of a union, management can take that away at any time. Working people know it too. That's why we're seeing an increasing number of workers that are enjoying union jobs. Thousands of our brothers and sisters in the House of Labor swallowed hard and done what they felt needed to be done to have their voices heard and their rights acknowledged. Think about the workers in several Starbucks locations that have successfully petitioned for, voted, and won the right to unionize. Now they're the first, but I'm confident they will not be the last. As it has been for more than 18 years, this platform's main mission is to introduce the best of us to the rest of us. There's perhaps no better example of this than the annual IBEW Our Power Award winners. This conference represents a chance to stand and be recognized for their approach to their craft and love of their union. Our Power Instructor of the Year, Rachel Hines, Local 5 in Pittsburgh. Yeah, having my name announced in this setting has just been, it was overwhelming. It really surprised me. Apprentice of the Year, Melanie Zavala, Local 357 in Las Vegas. It's an honor to be able to be the representative. It's been an uphill struggle with just accepting the, the congratulations and everything over and over again. And German Mentor of the Year, Kenny Ortiz, Local 611, Albuquerque. It's an honor. I don't think anybody does it for recognition. You know, every member out here is doing their best that they can do to make RIBW better. All I do is just, I, I go to work and I do my best. And to be recognized for that is, uh, it's just awesome. And each one of these individuals that won today will go back to their local unions and more inspired. They're gonna do even more than they did to get these awards. And there's gonna be hopefully more and more people falling behind them. So this to me is a, not only a fun part of the conference, but a very important part of the conference. And yes, through the updates and between the speeches, there's still the business of getting better. Breakout sessions give everyone a new perspective to make today a bit better than yesterday. That's the ultimate goal, to realize our potential, to regain and maintain a much larger market share. It won't be easy, but after all, ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship.